The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start the show like we usually do, looking at the German DAX and the FTSE. And as you can see, these markets have been under some pressure, especially the German DAX. I mean, that's got hit pretty hard, and I think part of it's due to their way that they shut everything down. But heck, what do I know? Anyway, let's keep in mind that's what's going on over there. Now, a couple things have happened here uh, overnight, folks. Uh, one is, to me, extremely important. And we can all learn a, a really good message from this. This happens to be the chart of the natural gas. And boy, I was so prepared to buy that puppy today at 399 had everything going for it, and look what it did. It, you know, this 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 blue line there where it says important support, folks, that's a 618 on a weekly chart. I mean, this is a big time. And then we gap down. We gap down well over, you know, $2,000, well, $1,500. And, uh, you know, I, of course, I wait to see what the opening is going to be. I didn't know what the indication was or anything, but to see that go down. Now, there's a great lesson to be learned here, folks. Go back and look at the high up there at 6.5. I mean, they're talking. They were talking about twelve and fourteen dollar uh, natural gas at that level, and now we're in the midst of a winter, which is the seasonal time for natural gas. Natural gas, gasoline prices, heating oil prices have gone up. Of course, they backed off a lot recently, but uh, th this is you, you just can't listen to the news. It's just not. <laughs> well, you can, but I'll tell you, I. I paid my dues on that fraternity house. I'm done with that one. I'm not going to listen to those news, folks. I just don't care what's going on. Now, there's a couple things that are extremely important uh, from those of you that are in tech, uh, cryptocurrencies. Let's get this up here because, you know, how we feel about standard deviation here, folks. It's a very, very important tool, and it works on any single market. And this is what's important about this. If you notice here, we have, we're down 22% in the bit bitcoin stuff folks now we are at three standard deviations down there at 42,000 folks if we go below 42,000 which is right at uh that 44 42,000 level 43,000 if we go below that and if we go below that that's when real trouble starts and i really think they're going to get it because they got so many of these you know baseball reverse baseball cap guys out there like we've seen before and other things and they don't know what what bear markets can actually do and i would think it would set up and john jameson agrees with me on this it would probably set up one of the best buying opportunities that we're going to see in cryptos and cryptos are here to say folks it's not about cryptocurrencies. It's about blockchains. It's about reinventing the Internet. And uh, that's what the whole thing is all about. So we want to pay very, very close attention to that. And since we were on the uh, topic of standard deviations, I wanted to bring the, these were the ones that were in the newsletter this week because uh, they were so important from our standpoint of, you know, showing you the importance of this. But here is the. Uh, one for the uh, crude oil. You'll notice now that uh, that low that we made down there when we made the three drive to a bottom pattern, that was uh, actually 30 cents away from the uh, uh, standard deviation of the week uh, below the mean, as you can see, uh, just spot on there. And the other thing about the crude oil that was really important, and I will bring this up to you right here to let you take a look at it, because it was something that didn't quite get there. It might yet. And the pattern would still be good. But if you look at this crude oil, you can see the three drive to a bottom pattern. Okay. Now, what's happened now, that's where that second standard deviation came in. But if you'll notice here that we had a possibility of a head and shoulders pattern down here at 6,500. We only got to 6560, and of course now we've uh, we've gone up. We're almost uh, we've almost got to 60. Uh, what do we got to 6880 or something like that from this level? But if you were following 
the 382 principle like we usually like to when markets really explode and go to the upside. This was a really good example. I'll, I'll let you do the homework yourself on that one because it's uh, it's a real interesting to walk on to watch though. To me, those are the most important things to watch this week because if we go below 42,000 in the Bitcoin, folks, uh, I think that's going to cause a panic over there because uh, when markets go beyond three standard deviations, something is really, really wrong. And you don't want to mess with that. That's something that you don't want to mess with for sure. And we'll, we'll cover a little bit more of that here in just a second. But uh, that's the key thing. And the next thing is, is why did natural gas get down so low? Now, this market is extremely sold out. We're in a really strong seasonal. So I am looking for a place to try to pick a bottom here in the natural gas. My original, my original bottom after that the gap down was at 366. I don't know if it broke 366 yet or not today. Uh, I believe we're right about there now. Yeah, we're right at 366 right now. And uh, I haven't put an order in or anything, but uh, that's the area that I wanted to be a, uh, a buyer of. So that's a key thing to uh, watch anyway from what I'm, what I'm looking at as far as the uh, – and, I, and that's a long-term weekly pattern with some support. All I do now, folks, is I'll go down to a smaller time frame, down to 15 minutes, and I can see if the market will give me some indication that that would be a good place. And right now, looking at this, there is no place on that chart that says I can – well, I can. I can just buy it at 366 and put a $4 stop on it. I could certainly do that. But uh, frankly, I'm going to wait just a tiny little bit here. Eh, where are we at? We're at 367. The low has been, what, uh, 364. I could probably buy it. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll buy it here at, uh, well, it's already 366. 660 moved a buck and a half since we talked. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll just pass for it. I got other things that uh, have been going along. Folks, if there was ever a market that was scheduled to go up this week, folks, it had to be the, 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 the stock market. Let's just take a I'll do the NASDAQ first. And then we'll do the Dow Jones. I mean, this had so many things going positive for it today. Uh, look at this. Look at the move in the NASDAQ, folks, during September and October. That drop, that was equal to what we just did this morning. And you can see the beautiful ABCD pattern at the 50% level. ABCD, you know, absolutely spot on. Now, if you go back about oh, a month or so ago, we had a gentleman over there in Hong Kong that was getting out of all of his uh, – uh, Tesla stock at 11.99. If you'll remember, that was George. And thank you, George, for the case of champagne. Anyway, let's take a look at this here. That was a joke, folks. Anyway, uh, look at the Tesla. Uh, you'll, you'll notice here that we are making an ABCD in Tesla today. I think we've already rallied fifty dollars from the D point, but that was a three eight two. Okay, it's right into where that gap was way back there at nine hundred dollars. The low today, I believe, was 949, I believe, something like that, 942, whatever it was. So that should be it. If you believe in ABCDs and 382, that is a very, very positive sign for, for Tesla. That's the first major uh, you know, ABCD we've seen in this in a long time. By the same token, if it fails, and if it fails, not so good. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the volatility index. I don't follow this. I, I look at it occasionally because I don't trade it at all, but I know it's an indicator of uh, fear and greed and increased volatility. As you can see, the breakout levels that we've had, we haven't had much of a move considering, you know, the fact of where the market is. Now, the next chart that I want to uh, send to you uh, is, to me, one of the most important that I've seen in a long time. I've double-checked uh, on this to make sure that it is correct. It's from the Bank of America. And you notice here is what it's saying is that the inflow into equities over the last uh, 19, the last two years, is equal everything combined in the last 19 years. I imagine a lot of that is because so many people were home, and uh, you know we, they opened so many accounts with Robinhood and everything else. I can understand that, but folks, that's the one that you should really be afraid of. Because this is like the shoeshine boys were in 1929, giving you know advice to uh, Bernard Baruch when he was getting his uh, shoeshine, and also Jesse Livermore. Uh, just be really careful up in here, folks. That's that's all I can uh, that's all I can uh, you know try to tell you uh, what I see anyway. I you know hey I, I'm just a chartist, so I'm just telling you like it is. But I'm pretty good at this, so be really careful up in here. Now we've had uh, when we were, were looking at the stock market, uh, I did show you the uh, the Nasdaq. I also wanted to show you the Dow Jones. It was already had made a bottom. And the Dow Jones had been the weakest. And now you see we went right down to the 78% level there last Wednesday. And you can see what's happened so far today. We've already, I haven't even updated this, but we should get at least up to the 61% retracement up there at 35,300. That would be the goal that I would be looking at uh, for this. Now, the NASDAQ is, again, lagging very badly. Uh, but that's to be expected because these stocks went incredibly higher than they usually do. Look at this chart that we got from our good friend Rich Anderson. He forwarded it on to me, and I think it really shows you. This shows you the top chart. Top chart there is this is uh, the U.S. equity how it's how it's outperformed the rest of the world, folks. Look at that. Well, we should. We've we've got a pretty good stock market. And then look at these uh, Fang stocks. Now, this is the one on the bottom is the earnings. You can see here that the, the S&P earnings are trailing the FANG 
earnings, which they should because fangs have been the big winner. Look at the right hand value of the right, <laughs> the market value, the upper right hand chart up in the right corner. You'll notice, look at that. If you take out the fang stocks, uh, the six fang stocks out of the 500 S&P, giving them 494 stocks, look what that looks like. I mean, that's just, uh, it's really amazing how these stocks have done it. This is similar to what happened in uh, the dot-com bubble in 2000. We had all these different stocks coming out. But now, you know, we've got these things are weighted so much that you've got to be, uh, you've got to be really careful when you're looking at uh, some of these things. It's, uh, it's very, very important. Now, back to the important things. I had a question from one of our listeners. What were my two most embarrassing moments on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange when I was there from 82 to 85? Very simple. Uh, it was the uh, second or third, well, maybe the fifth week I'd been there. I cleared to Lynn Waldock. I got there early every morning, at least an hour early, to get all the information I could from the charts to what I was going to trade for the day. I worked out of Barry Lynn's office. He had a beautiful, beautiful office up there where traders would come and sit down. We had all the facilities that we needed. We could see the floor. Everything was uh, really, of course, every, our orders had to be done by phone. Up until then in 83, that all changed when we got the desktop computers. But uh, that's what we were looking at. Anyway, uh, what I was doing every morning when I would get in, the, the each exchange, uh, the mercantile and then also the Board of Trade, they put out the equity runs every morning for the traders. The runners go down to the printing room and they take these sheets up to the traders and pass them out on the floor or in the office, wherever they wanted to pick them up, so everybody had one. So I'm there in the morning, and this guy gets on, and he's got a big stack of uh, equ you know, equity runs, you know, the OIBM sheets. And uh, I said, wow, I said, yeah, you're going to give a lot of sheets out today. Huh? He said, no, he said, that's just one trader. And it was about five inches thick. I said, you're telling me that's one trader's positions? And he said, yes. I said, I'll give you $100 if, I, if you'll let me look at it. He said, for $100, he said, you can have it. And so he gave it to me. I put it in my briefcase, took it up to Lynn Waldock's room, and then I went ahead and uh, uh, went through. About two hours into the day, I get a call from Barry Lynn. I come up to the office, and uh, he said, uh, uh, how come you're looking at uh, Bill Shepard's uh, equity run? And I said, oh, I, I was so embarrassed. I said, yeah. I said, I didn't know who it was. I said, I just wanted to see, you know, what kind of positions and where he put them on. And he said, you know, that's pretty personal stuff. I said, yeah, I know I made a really bad mistake, but I but I, I, I didn't think. I said, I just wanted to see what it was like. And he said, I haven't looked at it. I said, it's here in my briefcase. And he said, okay. He said, now Bill Shepard wants to see you. He had his own clearing firm. So he's the biggest trader down there. He wore cowboy boots, the nicest guy. And I walked up and I came into his office and I was, oh, I felt so, so terrible. And he smiled at me and he said, well, you know what? He said, I've been doing this for a long time down here. No one's ever asked to see my, my equity run. And I said, why did you want to see it? I said, I just wanted to see the style of trading that you had. I said, I'd never seen an equity run that big before. He said, okay. He said, well, I'm a large position trader. Well, I had the thing in my briefcase, so I go back home that night, and I went through that thing like a fine-tooth comb. And, oh, my God, the position. He, the British pound was trading at about two and a quarter. And he had, he had pound positions on from two years ago. That he was rolling over from 550. He had over $55 million profit just in the British pound. And there were about a whole bunch of other ones in there. But, boy, he was a huge trader. But that was one of the worst ones. But I think the, actually the worst one was uh, I was trading uh, – I was short a couple of pork bellies. It was in January of 83. I'm pretty sure – it was January of 83. I'd been there a year. I was short two pork bellies. Hold, someone's asking me a question here. Let's double-check here. We have uh, Michael from the the wonderful country of Canada on the line. Michael, how are you doing? Uh, good morning there, Larry. How are you? Wonderful. What can I do for you? Yeah. Uh, worried about the uh, military conflict in Eastern Europe. Uh, just, I'm just curious. Uh -huh. Would you have a chart on the Russian ruble? No, sir, I would not. You have one on Turkish lira. Right. So. Uh, well, that, that, well, I, I, I <laughs> let me tell you that was sent to me by somebody, Mike. Oh, I don't. I, yeah, I don't. Again. I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't. Uh, I trade the big six, so I don't look. Yeah. Hey, don't worry about the conflict. I mean, that they, they that's. <laughs> 
that listen, don't worry about that. They're, Russia is not a, not a problem anymore. What they're doing is meandering against uh, political things that are going on here in the United States. They see weakness. It's like yeah. blood in the water, and that's what they're doing. They're over there uh, messing around again, and they still believe that Ukraine belongs to them, and that's not going to happen anymore. Those those countries are already split up. So, don't and don't, and don't enlist in the foreign legion or anything because they don't need you. Okay. Okay. All right. So you don't have a chart. You can't have a chart tomorrow, maybe. Tomorrow, I tomorrow, Mike. I am going to get you a Russian ruble chart. If you have to go to Moscow to get it, but I'll have one for you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. I don't even know if it's actively traded or not. I actually really don't know that. Hey, we'll be right back with the Wolf Trader himself, Shane Smolian. So we'll be right back. Stay with us, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, with a little luck and a few prayers, I think we might have the wolf man himself on the line, the wolf trader, Shane Smolian. How are you doing, my friend? Is this Duke and Duke? You got it, baby. 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Listen, my friend, let me ask you a question. What's going on with this virus thing? You've been following viruses for two and a half years here with pretty good success. Is this, uh, oh, my God, virus as bad as everyone says it is? Or what are you, what's your feeling? 
Well, uh, first of all, let me let me compliment you on your story about uh, the the exchange here, purchasing those those orders. I so so basically, what you're saying is you were the first uh, computer paper hacker. Basically, is that is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was one embarrassed puppy. I, I remember that. Actually, I became friends with. Uh, uh, with Bill afterwards, uh, he he was such a nice guy. He's an old cowboy from Texas, but uh, he uh, I, I was on panels with him uh, during the money shows that they had uh, in the early 2000, and we were laughing and joking about it. But I was still the only person that ever asked to see a uh, well at, that he knew of that actually looked to see what the equity run was. So anyway, that was I guess that was your equivalent of hacking. Yeah. So that's basically it. Yeah. Bag engineering is what they call it, right? Okay. Well, whatever I did, I did it wrong, and I <laughs> sure regretted it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Omicron. Um, here's what we know about Omicron. I'm going to talk about the Omicron effect. We talked about this on Saturday uh, in, in detail. These are some things that I see coming into the picture or possibly coming into the picture. Omicron is a variant that has multiple mutations. Uh, it's very contagious. Uh, it appears that it is more mild at this point, but we really don't know too much yet. Uh, I still think it's going to be an issue. Uh, one thing that is out about it is it seems like it's a little more infectious among children, uh, but we still need to wait. We really don't know yet. Uh, the, 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 the infection rate in South Africa is effectively doubled uh, in a very short period of time. So it, it will be here in six to eight weeks. Uh, so... Yeah, we will see. Some people feel that if it's mild, it will create more herd immunity. That could be a good thing in the long run. Uh, but again, we just don't know because these variants, uh, they all carry different, you know, subplots and affect different people at different times. So uh, we will we will have to see. Uh, but uh, I, I do want to start out with some headlines here uh, that I think are important. First of all, the Federal Reserve this taper is in effect, and we've been talking about this, and I think it's going to have us create a lot of headwinds for equities. Uh, it is likely now at the meeting, they're talking about doubling the pace of the taper. Now, this is significant because the taper was already double the rate of previous tapers. It was already faster than previous tapers, so now we're going to double it again. So this might put the timeline to end from late uh, June into, into March, somewhere into there. Uh, so this was a this was a picture of the taper here. This was originally what it looked like. It was supposed to end at the end of June, but now it might end at the end of March. So why should we care about that? Well, it's going to create more headwinds for equities. It's going to create a tougher environment uh, for the markets. So uh, we need to pay attention to this. This is a big Fed meeting coming up next week, and that's going to probably accelerate the selling in the S and P uh, as we look forward here. Uh, Evergrande is back into. The picture again here, this has not gone away. Uh, the, the headlines are coming back up here. Uh, this is from December 6th that uh, they're, they're on the brink of default. Uh, so this is a very real problem uh, occurring overseas in China. Uh, so this is just something that we need to watch also. Um, now, just jumping into something here, the big runs, people have asked me about this. The Fast Fed big runs is a, is a system that we have and I had been offering it mainly for the futures here, but we are expanding out now into ETFs. So we do have the fast fed big runs for the SPY and Apple now. So this would be for S&P members and also for uh, stock ETF members. This is coming online. Uh, I just thought I would throw that in there because people were asking me about this. So we are expanding that out. Um, jumping to another headline here, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. This is a big story right now. Uh, we've been we've been on top of this. Uh, Bitcoin has lost 17 percent in 24 hours. And uh, I, I felt very, I felt very strongly that this was going to occur. We have these new, uh, these new uh, cycles that we're looking at. We were able to pick the hottest cycle at any given period of time. Uh, this is a snapshot of of what we had forecasted here. This was back into uh, going back through October and November here. Um, we felt very strongly that this hottest cycle was going to be declining, and Bitcoin has followed this down. Uh, we do have this new hottest cycle for uh, crypto, gold, and the S&P, and so far it's following all of the markets beautifully on the long term. This is a longer term cycle that we have, but I wanted to point that out because I think it's telling that when we're getting into a situation here of of, of concern, people are getting nervous. Uh, they're they're fleeing the crypto, uh, so we're we're kind of see, we're seeing where the resolve is here. Now, gold is holding up relatively well. 
Uh, but still, I think even gold is at risk here. I think we could have we could be at risk of a, of a multi-market route uh, coming up here in the short term. Uh, so the risk is high. And so uh, but the Bitcoin was was a big one I wanted to talk about because I think this is a t this is a telling story in terms of investor resolve. Now, getting back to the Omicron here, uh, this is a this is an actual chart here of the, the cases. Now, notice that we had been plateauing here. Uh, this was you know, recently, like last month. So we, we really never came down as low as we did in May because of the Delta variant. So there was already a problem here before Omicron. OK, so people want to pretend like it's gone. It's not gone. Delta is still here. We're at a plateau. There are hospitals, ICUs that are full. Michigan is at the fullest it's been since the pandemic started. So as much as people are sick of, uh, of COVID, it's still a problem. We're coming into the winter months and uh, Omicron is, will likely be here. So that's gonna complicate the situation. Even if it's a mild case, uh, it will likely complicate the situation. So I don't think we're quite done yet. And if you go back and study a lot of these pandemics, they last for about five years. I mean, they go through all of these waves and sub waves. And um, so, you know, hopefully, if this is a milder case, hopefully that would, would help the, the herd immunity, but we just don't know yet. But I, I do want to point out that we were not out of the woods before Omicron and now Omicron's coming. So it's not over. Uh, so I would just tell people uh, to be careful about that. Now, Omicron, I believe this is a confounding variable uh, for for the bear market. I, I, I truly believe we began this bear market in July the 6th due to the Fed internals. I've been saying this. Omicron is just helping people realize it. Uh, it's serving as a trigger for the crumbling Fed internals. Uh, Larry, you remember I came on your show on the 24th of November talking about how the selling would come unexpectedly. It would come suddenly. Uh, yep. And I didn't know that it would come on that Black Friday. But, uh, you know, when you're in a bear market, that's what happens. You, know, you don't see this type of selling in bull markets. Typically, bull markets are low volatility. And so what was the excuse in September? There was no Omicron then, and it took the Fed, uh, it took a heroic effort from the Fed to, to turn the markets around. But the Fed's pulling back now, and the taper is doubling. So that's important. So we, we can't ignore that. Uh, the, next, the next one here, the Fed. Um, we're in a completely different situation this time around. Uh, so we cannot compare what's going on now to what happened in March of 2020, okay, or during the first round of COVID. Uh, the Fed has to get this inflation under control. And the interest rate is a problem because for those people who like to study the dollar as the reserve currency and the petrodollar and all of this, a lot of that depends upon interest rates. And so we'll get back to this after the break. Hey, we'll take a little break, folks. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have the Wolf Trader, Shane Smolian, on the line. You want to continue, young man? Sure. Uh, one, more, one more thing I wanted to point out about Omicron, and I didn't point this out before, and I'm, I'm reading the research coming out of South Africa because they're, you know, as people come into the hospitals, they get research. You, it, it, okay, natural infection does not protect you against Omicron. So if you've had, if you've had COVID uh, and you don't have a, a, a vaccine, you can get Omicron, which is weird, right? I mean, that's weird, but that's what they're saying. At least that's what they're saying. So I just wanted to point that out. So each variant gives you different subplots here. Now, getting back to the Fed here, the Fed has to get inflation under control. So I think they need to at least be competitive with the rest of the world. Some banks are raising rates. So I think the Fed feels like they need to get this under control, taper and raise rates sooner. Uh, but I wouldn't assume that even uh, if we get to a, a a high stress situation again that a second uh, fed policy would be the same as the first one uh, a lot of times you get diminishing returns you have all these expectations remember last time larry in march of 2020 i was bullish because i saw what the fed was doing i mean this time i'm bearish because i see what the fed is doing uh, and then also the public is souring over inflation i mean people people are getting tired of this the modern monetary theory thing of paying the checks and the inflation and people <laughs> don't want to work and people are getting upset about this so you know, this is it, no. It's it's important to point no, this out because it is. everybody thinks that this is great to, to you know all the stimulus, but there is a price to pay for this. So, you know, something to to put out there in the background. Now, lockdowns. Um, th this is this has been go this was going on before Omicron. So Germany, Australia, Austria were already locking down before Omicron. You see these countries; they're going to be fining people who don't have vaccines. Uh, so this is likely to expand. And I do want to point out that this could affect the midterm elections. So uh, mail-in voting could become a thing again. So this takes time. Okay, so if, you, if you're if you a state or, or, or local regional munis municipality, you have to plan this out ahead of time. You can't just say, we're gonna do mail-in voting in the last week. So this stuff needs to start happening months ahead. So that could be coming into the picture. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, this is then another one, political cover. I think Omicron is a positive for both uh, President Biden and the Fed. Why? Because if the markets come down, then they can say, well, you know, it was the virus. It wasn't uh, our policy. And the Fed can take cover from this, too, uh, because the taper is going to have headwinds. Right. But now this comes in and creates this whole clouded effect and say, well, you know, it was Omicron. And the Fed, this gives them the ability to reload. Uh, they can show that they're non-political by uh, tapering and raising rates. And so uh, another thing with the Fed and this is an unexpected benefit, is that lockdowns and sinking markets tame inflation. I mean, the, I mean, lockdowns reduce demand and sinking markets pull back commodity prices, they pull back equity prices. So this could be a positive for uh, both President Biden and the Fed. So something to keep in mind and then getting into the concept again, you know, are there gonna be more lockdowns here in the US? Is there gonna be more uh, mail-in voting? 
These are both possibilities. We don't know yet. So, and again, the fact that you can get, uh, the fact that you can get this Omicron if you just have natural immunity, now that opens a whole new population that could could get it too. So it's complicated. But uh, these are just some things. Now, this is something that's interesting. I I pointed this out. This is talking about long only hedge funds. Now, Omicron fuel, this is a headline. Omicron fueled volatility deals hedge funds the worst monthly return since March of 2020. Now think about this. This is a a microscopic decline compared to March of 2020, but because, as you pointed out, Larry, the the, the leverage is so high that any little tilt in the markets uh, cause causes this huge uh, swings in volatility, and I, I find it interesting uh, that most hedge funds are down. In the, this is just more of the of the article, but most of them were down in November. So my question is. Um, this is and this is a serious question. Why are hedge funds still long bias only in 2021? Larry, you know that you're always taking long and short trades all of the time to balance out. So why are these funds still long only? And I think there's two basic reasons here. One of them is because the Fed has bailed out the funds. So the whole time since 2009, um, it's it's kind of like game theory. You know, these are the most these are the most intelligent people in the world running these funds, right? So why would they expose themselves like this? Well, because they feel, based upon game theory, that the Fed's going to come in and, and bail them out. But what if what if the Fed doesn't? I mean, what if the Fed really does pull back this time? Uh, these long only funds, even if you have really good companies, it's it's you can't overcome a bear market. So uh, it's difficult. It's also difficult to develop long and short systems. Uh, so this is one of the things we try to do here. Uh, we try to create long and short portfolios. So I'm just going to show you an example. This is a portfolio that we have uh, using uh, different systems that we run from the the Fed juice to um, to the double lunar cycle. This is a portfolio of eight different symbols that we run here uh, uh, using Fed juice double optimized lunar cycle. Uh, and you can see this is long this is long short alternations. And you can see that you have a much better chance. This is a delta neutral strategy versus trying to be long all the time in funds. So uh, if you're if you're long all the time, uh, if the bear market does come, it's tough. I mean, it's I mean, you can have good companies like Apple's doing pretty pretty good right now. There's certain companies that are holding up, but uh, ultimately in the long run, if you do get a really really big drawdown. Uh, you you can't be long all the time. You just can't. It's just, you gotta have the the whole point of the hedge fund. The whole, the whole reason this name came out is because it was supposed to hedge against long positions. And so, uh, some fund managers feel that, well, you know, I'm, I I have some gold, I have some Bitcoin, I have some, I have some bonds and that's my hedge. Okay. What did crypto do? What if gold goes down? So I feel very strongly that a, a long, short Delta neutral portfolio is a better strategy uh, especially in volatile times like we're seeing now. And what we saw with Bitcoin, I mean, Bitcoin likely has more downside. Uh, and gold is holding up, but that's there, there's no given that it will. Uh, so we got we got to be real careful here. And so um, that's just, you know, one thing that, that I want to point out. And um, I'm going to show you another slide here. This is uh, this is Bill, Bill Ackman, who this man made $2.6 billion in the pandemic. I mean, obviously, he's a very intelligent investor. Um, but, um, the problem, the problem that I see here is he believes that this could be bullish for stocks. But my thing is that, you know, if, if the fed was doing what they were doing in March of 2020, I would agree with him, but the feds not doing what they were doing in 2020. It's a completely different situation. Uh, and again, I was bullish in 2020. It's still there. The tweet is still up. I came on your show, Larry, and talked about that multiple times, but the fed is pulling back now. So from what I can see, it's impossible for this market to rally without the Fed. When there's no Fed, uh, there's no rally. So uh, that's just kind of what I see here. Now, the S&P summary, I'm just going to go over very briefly here what I talked about on your show. This was from November 24th. This was Wednesday before the Black Friday meltdown. But I was talking about how, look, I, I felt like we're, we're in a bear market. And the evidence was that the bluff, the, what I call the, the bluff, when the market went up there, in September, October, it was over. Uh, the Fed taper is here, and and now it's double. Uh, it's going to be cumulative, and the Fed internals are sinking. So, I to me, that's evidence. That's the only thing that I focus on. Uh, that's the, the main thing. I focus on cycles too and other things, but in terms of the Fed, that's what I focus on. 
That's what steers the markets. Uh, we talk a lot on this, these shows. Everybody comes on with their different forecasts and their cycles, and, 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 you ha- and you have some excellent guests here, some really intelligent guests. Come on. We'll talk about this when we get back. We're going to take it. We'll be right back with Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Shane Smolian, wolftrader.com. Mr. Smolian, I have a question for you. If the folks want to take a sample of your newsletter or get in touch with you, how would they reach you? Uh, Sure. You can reach me at wolftraderfutures.com and I will show you right here how to reach me here uh, so it's going to be uh, wolftraderfutures.com or fedjuice.com you can head on over there for a 7 day free trial on any of our services and like I mm-hmm. said we are adding the fast fed big runs now which is swing. It's our flagship swing trading system we've had it for platinum members but it is offered now for the spy and also apple on different services so uh, check it out there it's it's not a money back guarantee you just don't get charged for seven days you just get to try it out for seven days so you don't have to worry about that uh try mm-hmm. it for seven days and uh, you would get a full month's newsletter of all of these these forecasts so uh, yeah if you have any questions you can also chat me over there um so yeah so check it out uh, i think it's worth your time uh at least show up to we do webinars pretty much every saturday uh, talking mm-hmm. about different themes. Uh, each mm-hmm. week is a little bit different. We have uh, a question. But, sure. Uh, the solar the uh, solar eclipse that we had uh, on Saturday, I guess, are the effects yes. of that over now, or does it stay for a few days? Well, okay, let's talk. That's a great question. So solar eclipses. Okay, lunar eclipses tend to be negative. This one was big. It was negative at the top. Solar eclipses tend to be positive. They're 
a much lighter effect. The problem that we have this month is, you see, normally, okay, if we were in December and we had a solar eclipse, I would say, wow, that's really bullish because positive seasons. The problem is there's so much heavy negative uh, stuff coming this month. I mean, it is a packed month of uh, negative aspects that I think that's going to override the, the, the solar eclipse. I, I personally feel that we have a lot of issues here uh, going forward. So in a normal context, I would say it's mildly bullish. But because the back end of the month is just loaded, I mean, we got the Venus retrograde coming up. We've got the Saturn Uranus square. The transits are going to start dipping. There's so much going on. And I give very specific dates to subscribers um, that that could override it. Now, mm -hmm. anyway, we'll get, we'll get to that on another hey, we'll show. We'll have you on again in a few weeks, my friend. And happy holidays you, to you. And thanks for joining us. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow.